Recent cyber attacks were a wake-up call for the American establishment and while President Donald Trump downplayed the entire incident, his successor, Joe Biden, has promised action against Russia. The incoming White House Chief of Staff, Ron Klain, has said that President-elect Joe Biden's response to the massive hacking campaign uncovered last week would go beyond sanctions against Russia. The Biden team is mulling over a difficult balance. Established deterrence by imposing a high financial cost on Russia and at the same time not escalate matters to a Cold War situation. Joe Biden has promised a more hawkish U.S. policy towards Russia, but his options will become clear only once he enters the White House. And that is still a month away. Until then, any U.S. response will have to come from Donald Trump. But the U.S. president does not seem keen enough on a tough response. He has casted doubts over American intelligence by alleging that not Russia, but China could be behind these attacks. Joe Biden, on his part, has vowed strong action. He has promised tough financial repercussions on individuals and entities. So, the question is, what are his options here? The first one, sanctions. The most obvious target would be SVR, Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service. They are believed to have orchestrated last week's hack. The U.S. Treasury has already sanctioned multiple Russian security agencies, like the FSB and the GRU. So, sanctions against SVR would not be unprecedented. Also on America's radar will be Russian oligarchs, many of whom maintain close links to Vladimir Putin. But a real body blow would be to cut off Russia from the SWIFT bank transfer system. This would cripple Russian companies. They would no longer be able to process payments to and from foreign companies. But there is a catch. Such a move would impact Europe's energy supply. Europe would no longer be able to deal with Russian energy firms. So the big question is, can Biden get America's European allies on board for this drastic plan. Finally, the U.S. could launch cyber attacks of its own. The Pentagon Cyber Command could knock out Russian phone networks and internet. What Joe Biden chooses to do will depend on two primary factors. The first one, how much support he can get from Europe. And number two, how far can he push Russia without drawing a response. Amid the controversy surrounding the work of Russia's security services, Russian President Vladimir Putin visited the headquarters of the Foreign Intelligence Service. Putin hailed the country's quote-unquote courageous spies. Putin visited the SVR headquarters in southern Moscow to mark its 100th birthday. Но, безусловно, и то, что эффективная работа органов безопасности, подчиненная закону и национальным интересам, всегда была и всегда будет исключительно значима для России. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.